A man is speaking out tonight after calling 911 on behalf of a teenage girl who police say bravely swam across a lake to escape captivity. Police say a family acquaintance took 15-year-old Jasmine Block from her home in Alexandria on August 8th. According to officers, her acquaintance and two other men assaulted Block for the next 28 days. The teenager escaped after the three men left her alone in a foreclosed property in rural Grant County. Police arrested Thomas Barker, Joshua Holby, and Stephen Powers yesterday for physically and sexually assaulting the teen. Jeff Wagner is in Alexandria tonight where this unthinkable story began, Jeff. Yeah, Amelia, right here in Alexandria is where this all started, this case, but the investigation now spanning several counties, including Grant County, and that's where this story has an incredible and heartfelt ending to what can best be described as a month-long nightmare. Fly it around here, usually. <laughs> that was until Tuesday, when the man you see here, who asked we hide his identity, left work because he forgot something at his isolated Grant County home. Looking out here in this in the grassland here. From hundreds of yards away, he thought he saw a deer. She was up so I could see her, but I couldn't tell what it was. He says he started his truck to drive towards her when suddenly she came running. When she came walking out of the grass, I went, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. It was Jasmine Block, the 15-year-old girl who disappeared weeks earlier. It was great. It was just a great feeling, and I Get in the pickup. We're going to help you now. So investigators say family acquaintance, 32-year-old Thomas Barker, lured Jasmine into his car last month, taking her to his home in Carlos. Barker tied her up with zip ties, and then he, his roommate, and a friend over the over the next several weeks repeatedly assaulted Ms. Block and threatened her with weapons. They eventually took her to a foreclosed home on Thompson Lake. Police say her three captors left her alone to grab lunch, which is when she made her escape, swimming across the lake and onto this man's property. Anybody can call 911. It's just, you, I was in the right place at the right time. And so were deputies. I was getting her out of the pickup to put her in the deputy's car, and she says, there's the car, there's the car. And so one of the deputies chased him down. The first of three arrests was made, giving this father of three girls satisfaction only a parent would understand. It was like somebody shined a big beam of light on me yesterday for some reason, and I don't know, it was, it was, I was kind of on a high all day long yesterday, so. And despite those arrests, this investigation is ongoing. Police are asking farmers in the nearby counties around Alexandria to check their cornfields to look for any signs of vehicles driving through them. All right. Thank you, Jeff.